What's goody, my peoples? You already know it's your boy Retro Young, your neighborhood Funko bro. And let's get right into these Marvel Patina Target exclusive Funko Pops. You see right here, we got the hero, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. I think this is like an anniversary or I think, cause I think it says 80 years on the box. Um, it's number 495, Spider-Man. These statue type of uh, Funko Pops are really starting to become more popular. Um, I wanted to pick these up due to the fact of obviously Stan Lee passing away, rest in peace. And just that Funko that they made of him in the patina statue, kind of like rusted, well not rusted, but you know, oxidized and shit like that, like a penny. Um, they really look good. The details on them are really, really good. As you can see right here on the Spider-Man, the details are really on point with these, um, these Funko Pops. And they are bobblehead, they are Marvel, so they are bobbleheads. And um, just the overall action in this Funko Pop is dope. As you can see right here, we got that Captain America. Captain America. Now, once again, this is all the patina line, so each Funko has its own look. Um, like its own shade, really, on it. They all look similar in color, but it has its own shade. This is number 497, Captain America. I like the back box art that they still had some color in it. And then you, you can see here, sometimes the face has more of a, a, a copperish type of look or it might have a green type of look. This is uh, Captain America in, I would say, the old style suit he had, but it's all dope. It's that Captain America right here. He definitely wasn't one of the, like major stars to me i understand how the movie you know portrayed captain america he's the cat you know what i'm saying america's hero but in the movie i'm pretty sure everybody had some other other superheroes that they were fans of before him or maybe he was what was your homeboy i don't know <laughs> let me know down below as you see right here we got that iron man now this is definitely the old style the classic style of iron man number 498 all of them should come with the Target exclusive so it, sticker. So if you don't have that sticker on the front of your box, nothing's probably wrong with it. But I would at least check it out to see. Because there are fakes Funko Pops that go around. I know a lot of people hit me up and ask me that. There are a lot of fake Funko Pops. It's that Iron Man looking straight like a robot. With the old classical face type of robot on him. Each one of these is all dope. Like like I said, they all have great detail. It gives you that statue look. And just because I was trying to stay along the lines of Stan Lee with his patina, and um, I'm not even sure if I shown y'all. I think I did show y'all, but if not, I have to go dig, it, dig that up and then just take a picture of all of them all together. That'll be dope. But yeah, man, this is the Iron Man. You see it. Last but not least, we got that Wolverine, number 496, of course. One of the superheroes I'm a fan of. Wolverine, Hulk, uh, Black Panther, like, you know, typical. But Wolverine and Hulk are usually my go-tos right there. Leave it down below. Let me know what either a superhero or what Marvel or DC hero you rock with. I rock with Marvel. I'm not big of a DC fan. So let me know down below if you are a DC fan or a Marvel fan. That's why you really don't see too much, too many Batman videos, which I am going to start showing some because there's a lot of dope Batmans coming out. But we, we talking about Wolverine. You see him right here. Wolverine got the claws. They got all the body actions dope. Like, as if they were posing. Like, if you were to put these side by side, I think. Like, display them outside of the box. I think it would be a dope look. A dope look. Because they all fit. But you see it. You already know. Funk your pops. And the box that was shifted. Bang, bang.